relationship official Miranda Lambert and Evan Felker stepped out in public together for the first time nearly three months after Us Weekly exclusively revealed they are dating. Lambert and Felker, both 34, kept close during a New York City outing on Wednesday, July 18. The pair can be seen holding hands in a video from their night out exclusively obtained by Us Weekly. At one point, Felker also leaned in to whisper something in the Tin Man singer's ear. They looked very happy together. They looked closer as the night went on, a source tells us. At one point Evan leaned in for a kiss. When the two let themselves be open, they appeared very comfortable together. Us Weekly broke the news in April that the country music singers started seeing each other when his band, Turnpike Troubadours, opened up for Lambert on tour. An insider told us that things just happened between the two of them while they were on the road, noting that Lambert was still technically with then-boyfriend Anderson East at the time. Us Weekly exclusively revealed on April 7 that Lambert and East split after two years of dating. Felkar, meanwhile, was still married to his now-estranged wife, Stacy. When he started dating Lambert, a source exclusively told us in May that Felker ghosted Stacy after the Grammy winners tour wrapped, noting that she found out her husband filed for divorce from the local newspaper. Stacy appears to be turning over a new leaf, however, as she wrote that she is moving forward earlier this week on Instagram. Her message comes after she shared an emotional post on the social media platform about her estranged spouse not being there for her during a recent hospitalization. Scroll through four exclusive pics from Lambert and Felker's first public outing as couple, happy couple. Lambert and Felker wore all smiles as he put his arm around her in New York City on Wednesday. Showstoppers. The duo enjoyed a night out in Big Apple on Wednesday, July 18, before the Turnpike Troubadours and Lambert's concert at Jones Beach on Thursday, July 19. Not holding back, Lambert and Felker did not shy away from PDA during their NYC night out. Don't blame me. An insider told us in May that Lambert believes she didn't steal Evan from his wife. Moving on, Lambert was previously married to Blake Shelton from 2011 to 2015. After their divorce, he began dating fellow voice coach Gwen Stefani. Lambert admitted during her June interview with Hits Daily Double that she hung up the phone the first time she was asked about Stefani by the media. Heart on the line. The Little Red Wagon crooner recently opened up about her past experience with heartbreak. It's very humbling to be hurt, and I have to be honest. My fans expect that from me. I am who I am. She said during a June interview with Hits Daily Double. I am honest about being flawed. That's all I can be, you know? I cuss. I drink. I get divorced and get my heart broken. I break hearts. I can't do or be that anymore, or it'll drive me crazy. I won't be any good anymore. Out for revenge? The Over You singer wanted her music to do the talking after her split from Shelton, telling Hits Daily Double that it was hell putting her feelings on paper for her 2015 album. The weight of these wings. I think lots of people expected a revenge vibe, she explained. I've heard that a couple of times, but really, this is opposite of that. I didn't even know really what all it was gonna take to come out of it, but I was gonna feel it. And I was gonna come out alive. Hung over a lot, maybe, but I was gonna get through it. Alive and feeling like death, but it was okay. It was true. Closing one door. According to court documents obtained by us weekly, Felker filed a scheduling order in May to end his relationship with Stacy, citing fears that his ex would otherwise unduly delay the divorce. Inspired, Lambert teased new music with her band The Pistol Annies during her trip to NYC, saying in some songs, Hashtag stay tuned hash holler a hashtag loans tray hashtag hippie a. She captioned an Instagram photo with Angelina Presley and Ashley Monroe on Wednesday.